Hey Steve Fox. Oh. Hey Manuel. What's up? By the way, why do you look so angry? Well. Justin's roommate Steve, Aaron, Justin, John, and David made fun of me just because I don't have any Jack in the Box. So could you please take me to Jack in the Box? Sure. I could take you to Jack in the Box. We'll take Justin with us as well. Yeah, just let me change into my baseball uniform. Hello. Welcome to Jack in the Box. How may I take your order? Actually, my sons Justin and Manuel would like to get something from Jack in the Box. Yes we do. Anyways, I would like to get a sourdough jack, medium curly fries, a medium strawberry fanta, and a strawberry milkshake. And I would like to get a home-style ranch chicken club sandwich, large fries, a 10-piece chicken nuggets, a large Dr. Pepper, and a strawberry milkshake as well. Sorry, but the person in front of you just ordered the last of the strawberry milkshakes. What? Justin ordered the last of the strawberry milkshakes? Sorry, but strawberry is one of my favorite flavors along with chocolate and vanilla. But don't feel bad young man, how about if I offer you a chocolate milkshake instead? Did you hear that mom well? The clerk is offering you a chocolate milkshake. So why not get a chocolate milkshake instead? No way. I asked for a strawberry milkshake, not a chocolate milkshake. So tell Justin to change his order right now, because he ordered the last of the strawberry milkshakes. Uh oh, I have a bad feeling that something bad is going to happen. Are you kidding me, Manuel? You can't just expect me to change my order just because I ordered the last of the strawberry milkshakes. And besides, it's too late. Yeah, so stop acting so selfish and just accept what the clerk is offering you right now because your arguing is just going to keep the whole line waiting. Shut up. I refuse to get a chocolate milkshake. And you know what, Justin? That's it. Since you refuse to change your order, then I have no other choice but to beat you up in public. Now get over here right now. Not, Not if I beat you up first. No, Justin. Please. Not that. Anything but transforming into the Hulk. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Get back here right now, you stupid piece of ice cream cake. Steve Fox, let's go home. Because this stupid piece of chocolate confetti cake threatened to beat me up, made me angry, and make me transform into the Hulk. Yeah, Justin. Let's go home. Because I knew that slice of wedding cake would cause you to transform into the Hulk in public. <laughs> Manuel Soto. Shut up. And stop crying like a baby. You did this to yourself. Man Justin. You totally gave me a black eye, a bloody nose, and you punched five of my teeth out. Well, that is what you get for threatening to beat me up, making me angry, and making me transform into the Hulk in public. And everyone in Jack in the Box think you deserve to get beaten by me. Yeah, and when Justin transformed back to his normal self, he was in his underwear. You know Justin hates being seen naked in public. Okay, okay, okay. I get it now. I'm so sorry. So Steve Fox. Can we go back to Jack in the Box, so me and Justin could reorder our meals? And promise to get a chocolate milkshake? No. Absolutely not. You have behaved so badly today. And Justin refuses to go back to Jack in the Box to reorder his meal. And you know what? That's it. You are grounded for two weeks. This means no fast food restaurants for two weeks. And you'll be forced to play with Barbie dolls, eat Barbie themed foods, and watch Barbie movies on Netflix. Go to your room right now. You stupid slice of strawberry cake with pink fondant. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha